Let's start off. Please just uh, state your name and talk a little bit about your diagnosis or why you are using the new game. Okay. My name is Christine Snyder, and Kim showed me the new gate right after I had hip surgery on the right side, and also clumsy. So it helped both of those out. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. It helped the hip and it helped the clumsiness. Yes, it did. I was brave enough to walk without my cane, which that's a rarity, but I've noticed now I'm walking away without it. So. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're seeing some progress. That is great. That is great. Okay, tell me a little bit more about your, your hip. So I'm assuming you, you had a hip replacement. I had a hip replacement at the point I went in. I was not walking well by myself at all. I was a fall risk and I just couldn't handle walking anymore. It was, I waited till the last minute to get it done. And had you had a fall? I've fallen quite a few times before it got done. But after I had the surgery, there was relief. And then after they started working with me, there was more relief. I was excited when we'd go into physical therapy and she'd throw that on me and I'd go walking without me. So it wasn't very pretty, but I did it. Just to get a better understanding of kind of the time frame. When did you have your surgery and when did you start seeing Kiv? I had surgery March 22nd and then I think I was seeing her in June. June of last year? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. she was in K.I. Sawyer and I had to leave K.I. Sawyer. So now I'm in Marquette. So I see her every so often. Okay. So you're driving all the way out to Sawyer to see her? No, I get or... the bus. <laughs> okay. Well, you're, you're traveling all the way out to Sawyer. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what I should? Okay. Yeah. Wow. So I'm assuming that you learned about Newgate through Kim, through her introducing it. Well, it was funny because it was the first day and she was interviewing me so we could go over exercises and stuff. And she says, I have this device and me being... Marty, I says, is it like a exoskeleton? And she looked at me and then she said, sort of. And then it went from there. I was all in whatever it was. And I was amazed when they put it on me. Wow. Wow. Describe that first time when you used the new game, when Kim put it on. It was like more stable, not as clumsy, down to earth, grounded. I was moving. Even in the beginning, I was moving a lot more with that on me than I did without it. And then the first few times we started using it and I'd go home and my daughter would say, boy, are you standing taller? And it was, it was helping me stand taller. It was fantastic. Wow. How quickly did you see that, those improvements? Yeah, but if she didn't use it, my body wouldn't remember that long. It would start going back into what it was. But as soon as, as, soon as she put it on me again, I was standing taller and ready to go again. And that would just remind me to keep myself taller for a while. Wow. So it, it sounds like it was almost immediate when the device was on. It was almost immediate. Yes, it was. What happened when the device was taken off? Well, eventually I'd go back to my old way, slumping again. And when she put it on me, I felt like refreshed, ready to go. And then she'd take it off and I'd go, oh, got to go back to that cane. Oh, <laughs> I, I would love to have one on a daily basis. I really would. I think it would help me a lot more. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it certainly sounds like it. Yeah, we, we have, I mean, well, quite a few people who are using it at home, you know, outside of the clinic setting, the, they'll start using it in the clinic and then eventually get a unit for home and, and use it on a daily basis to help with gait training and rehab. So, so yeah, it is uh, definitely available for home use as well. Yeah, well, I hope to purchase my own and use it while I travel. Plan on going places. Oh, do you do a lot of traveling? No, but I just found out I have a half sister, so I want to meet her. And she wants to go on a cruise and other places. So I just filled up for my passport. So she's going to take me to Iceland. Oh, exciting. Wow. Yeah. You found half sister. Look at that. We did an ancestry. We did it for my son to find my son's family and ended up finding an older sister. 
So they want to go places and go cruise. And I says, well, your Newgate would be a wonderful help to me if I did that. Absolutely. Yeah. It'll help you be more mobile. Yeah. So you get around a lot easier. <laughs> and be an advertisement. I could see people asking, hey, what's that? <laughs> Oh, we, we've certainly heard that quite a few times, actually. <laughs> yeah, people will ask. They'll see it and they will ask. So it's very interesting how, you know, you put it, you put the device on and it pretty immediately has an effect on you. Have you ever stopped to think, you know, what's happening? Do you have any idea on what it's doing to help you? It's like dialing into that certain muscle and saying, hey, I'm here, tick, tick. The second new gate, and she just put it on me for 30 minutes, and she put it around my knees and then hooked it somewhere else. And that time, I felt muscle in my thighs, which I haven't felt forever, and I could feel my core engaging. And it was, like, amazing. I guess I keep using that word, but <laughs> it was. <laughs> We're living in a trailer court. I'm walking a mile and a half, two miles a day in the trailer court and when I walk I can feel the muscles in my thigh working and my core engaging. Whereas previously you weren't feeling that. No, I didn't think I had thigh muscles. And then she put that on me and the next day it was, hey, you can move those. Felt the muscle right above the knee and I could actually feel the muscle move. Wow. I've, wow. I've had back surgery. I've got a light cage in my back and all kinds of hardware. And then I just had my hip done. I did my back 20 years ago. I'm just now feeling normal. I was having daily pain. And then as soon as I got this hip and then we started working with the new gait and the certain exercises, the back pain got less and less. And I'm not taking anything for it right now. And how's your back pain now? Next to nothing. It'll get tired, but I'm not having the pain I did. And it was up there six, seven, eight for 20 years. I just grew, grew used to it, I guess. And now every once in a while, I'll take an ibuprofen and it's done when I'm a little tired. All right. It was last May is when you had last your March. surgery. Last March. Or la last March. Uh, a couple months later is when you started seeing Kim for therapy. Have you been seeing Kim regularly since then and using the new gate? I just use it while we was in Sawyer, probably a little through August. And then I got shipped. I went and moved in with my son because we lost the housing in K.I. Sawyer. And then I lived with him and I didn't see her for a while. And then I got kicked out of there. So I'm now in Marquette with my daughter and we're renovating trailers. So it's kind of awkward, but saw her the other day after I went for a dental appointment and then she made an appointment for me to come back and try the new one. Right after that, she told you she wanted me to talk to you. All right. Yeah. Just trying to get a good sense of the, the timeline. It sounds like you used it pretty consistently for a few months there with Kim last year. Yeah. And then after I got down there, they put me in pool therapy for a while. Aqua therapy because I was closer to Marquette and they had a pool. And I think that had to do with some less back pain too, but they didn't have the new gate there or I didn't know of it there. Did you ask any of those uh, therapists or the therapists that you were working with? Or did you tell them, hey, you know, I was using this thing over in Sawyer called the new I gate? Knew, they, knew, they know who Kim is, so I don't know if she goes over there or how that works. Okay, but they didn't say, oh, yeah, we can use the new gate, too, on you. No, they didn't. So they must have not been familiar with it yet at that point. Yeah, we're, we're still working to try and convert more therapists onto it. You probably went to another UP rehab facility, I'm guessing, the one in Marquette. And they're all connected. They're in the same system as the one that Kim works at. Uh, so that's why they know Kim. They're colleagues there. And so... We've introduced it to them and we're trying to get more of them to use the new gate because it can be such a great tool. But if you do, if you do end up going back to therapy over there, tell them, hey, you know, I use this thing. Why aren't you guys using it? <laughs> Ask them, hey, this thing really helped me. You guys yeah. should use it. Too. Yeah. You know, I it kind of lights a fire under them. I kind of did. I, I'm sure I'm going to go have to go back when I have my second hip done, but I'm not waiting to the last minute. <laughs> yes, not this time. Yeah. 
Did you do any therapy before your uh, hip replacement? And did that work for you? I'm going to say I don't think so. It was a cortisone shot or something. Okay. Let's see if this works and then we'll go from there. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> now, you you mentioned a lot of different things that, you know, you felt the new gate was doing for you. I'll prove your, your gate. Um, is there anything in particular that you like most about it? Or anything in particular that really stands out um, that gives you that wow feeling? The original one made me stand taller and I walk. And like I said, on the second new gait, it engaged my thigh muscles and my core, which is where better walking, no cane. Before I had back surgery, I was walking like Ozzy Osbourne, a kind of slanted forward. And like I was on a walker, but I didn't have a walker. My back was that bad. Now I'm standing taller. I can now bend a little bit backwards too. I'm not so stiff. That is good to hear. Yeah. Now you mentioned that your, I think it was your daughter noticed you were standing taller a little bit. better, yeah. yeah. Has any other family noticed anything about your posture, your, your gait, anything of that nature? Well, not really because I haven't been around. Well, my son says I look better. That's all he said. But I'm not around any other family that would tell me how I was looking. But I had a couple, her girlfriend and then my friend down the street says my walk's getting better. And so did her girlfriend. But I'm still walking with that cane. <laughs> I see. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Other people are seeing it. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So last question that I have, is there anything else that we should, uh, we should have learned from you, um, but I didn't ask or anything else that you would like to add? It does make you more stable. I just think it's an overall great tool to use. Yeah. That's amazing. There I go again. <laughs> well said. Awesome. Awesome.